Let's say this is the list that we are going to sort using quick sort. Let's create the function quick sort and let's pass in this list along with the lower bound and upper bound of this list. And now here inside this function, we are going to call a function partition that will return us an index around which we are going to do the partitioning. So let's pass in list lower bound and upper bound and let's declare it. Let's say let index and now here right below this function, let's create the function partition function partition and the first thing that we are going to do inside this function is to choose a pivot element. We can choose any element as the pivot but let's select the one present at the lower bound. So this will be the pivot for this example. Now we're gonna take two pointers left and right. Left will start from the lower bound and right will start from the upper bound. Right now if the value present at the left pointer is smaller than or equal to the pivot, then we are going to make move towards right. That is, we are going to increment the left pointer. And also, we're going to check the left is smaller than list dot length minus one or not, because it must be within the list bounds. So here, we're going to increment the left to move towards right. And now, the other while loop for the element present at the right. So if the element present at the right is greater than the pivot, so until the element present at the right is greater than the pivot and right is within the array bounds, that is right is greater than zero, then we are going to decrement the right to go towards left. But if both the pointers are stuck, then we are going to swap the values present at these two pointers. So let's take the value at right in temp at left in temp and now the value present at right we're gonna place this value at the left pointer and the value of left that we took in temp we are going to place it at right so we have just swapped these values and this everything we are going to do until the left pointer is smaller than the right pointer that is until the left until the right pointer does not cross the left pointer so let's indent it and after these two while there's no guarantee that left is still smaller than right so here again we're gonna check if left is smaller than right before swapping these two values and after this when the right pointer crosses the left pointer then we are going to swap the values present at the lower bound that is the value present at the pivot by or with the value present at the right pointer so swap right with lower bound or with pivot so here Let's again take temp and let's place the value present at the lower bound in this temp and at lower bound put the value from right and at right put the value in temp. And finally we will return the right index from here. So this will be the index around which we are going to partition these lists to do everything recursively. So first we are going to call recursively, quick sort recursively from the partition that is starting from the lower bound and going till index minus one. And the second recursive call is for the list that starts from index plus one and goes till the upper bound this recursion is going to get executed only until the lower bound is smaller than the upper bound so this is the implementation to quick sort and now it's time to invoke the function and to get the result so here first let's invoke quick sort and let's pass in the list and the lower bound is zero and the upper bound will be list.length 
minus 1 and we will now print the list so let's run this here terminal and let's say node quick oh, quick so so this is the result we are getting the list which is so that